Good afternoon. Soy otra gallita. Dame otra pa. Teacher, good afternoon. How are you? Hey, this is. How's it going? Everything good. Nice, nice. I get my homework. Send it. Yeah. Yeah, I got your picture. Didn't I text you back? I remember I text you back. You did. Hmm? You did. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So how do you feel now that we almost finished this module? Oh, so nervous. Why? Uh, I like every day waiting for four o'clock. <laughs> you are already used to the yeah. routine. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully next year it will continue. You think? I hope, I hope. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yes. Go first. Go first. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. What happened? My condition, air condition is broken. You have air conditioning? I need to replace. Wow. Oh. Split. Is it expensive to have air conditioning? For maintenance or forget it? For maintenance and electricity and everything. How about the electricity bill? Right now. Hundred plus. A hundred dollars electricity. Plus. Every month. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because have two uh, mini split. Oh, you have two units. One in the master bedroom, or one in the in the hall. Oh. In the room. Okay. For the house. For the whole house. Yeah. Yeah, but the latte is very hot, right? Really, really hot, buddy. So you need you really need it. <laughs> yeah. I um, have been I have been to Chalatenango just just two or three times, I guess. And yes, it's very hot. Even at night, right? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Don't care. And now and day, same hot. Yeah, now and day the same weather. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, in this place, we have uh, some peculiar thing. What? My town is in the in the plain. Mm -hmm. But next town is high. It's in a hill. Yeah, in the mountain. Uh huh, and that's cold. It's cold, yeah. My daughter living there in La Palma. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Yeah, La Palma's weather is very good. good. Where does your daughter live in La Palma? When was I uh, was 
live in La Palma when child. And where did you live? Near the park or where? Near the park. Okay. So why did you move? Why didn't you stay at La Palma? My mom is from here, Agua Caliente. Mm. Dad was a teacher. Uh -huh. He moved work in that place. Your father worked in La Palma yeah. as a teacher. And my mom lives from here. Oh, okay. I have some friends there in La Palma. Really? Yeah. Good afternoon, have... teacher. Good afternoon, Sandra. I have a name whose name is Glenda Orellana. She has a sister. Well, she has two sisters. Well, three sisters. Uh, Marlene Orellana and I don't remember the name of the other one. Wendy also. Marlene is teacher. Mm, she started to be a teacher, but she's not working as a teacher. Right now. Mm -hmm. I guess no her. Hello, good afternoon. You think? I guess. Hey, it's a, a little bit tall, white, green eyes. Uh, I moved with my dad, my father, when I was uh, seven years old. Oh, a long time ago. Long time ago, around the fifty years ago. Fifty years, fifty years. So you are fifty-seven years old. Fifty-eight right now. Fifty-eight, yeah. but you look very young. No, I am very young. <laughs> Hello, Emma. Nice to see you again. What happened to you yesterday? Good afternoon, teacher. Um, yesterday I didn't stay in my home, and um, I mm, I can't stay in class. <laughs> I can't. The past. Um, what is the past tense of can? Cool. Cool. Good, positive and negative. Cool. Cool. Couldn't. Uh -huh. Couldn't stay in the class. Oh, and what did you go? May I know? Um, I have an appointment with my son. <laughs> oh, medical appointment? Uh, yeah. Oh, is he, is he okay? <laughs> with the dentist. <laughs> with the dentist? Okay. Yeah, for my son. <laughs> mm, poor little boy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he's a little boy, so right now I don't have any problem with that. <laughs> okay, nice. How old is your son? One year. <laughs> oh, one year old. Okay. Yeah. Give him a lot of candies. <laughs> oh. <No>. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes, they no. need candies. No, no. He mm -hmm. don't doesn't need. <laughs> of course they do. Hi, Giancarla. Carla, Liliana, how are you? Catherine, welcome. How are the ladies? Hello. The rest, please, if you are already connected, turn on your cameras. All right, let me share my computer here. All right, guys, today is November the 29th. This is our 18th class. So two more classes and we finish. Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we are going to have our final evaluations. Don't forget. Tomorrow, Thursday, final greeting. And the day after tomorrow, Friday, final speaking. Okay. So I sent you the presentations yesterday. So study. This is mostly simple past and the present perfect. And the present continuous. And the future. And the past. And everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Ready. All right, guys. Today, we are going to be still discussing a little bit about your past because, I mean, that's, you need to practice a little bit more because you have to memorize the verbs, right? And the only way to do it is just by practicing. So, we are going to start with a game. We are going to play Hangman. Let me share the screen here. One second. 
Here you will see some sentences, incomplete sentences, and we will have to find out what's the missing word. So, do you see my screen? Yeah. All right, so let's begin. The sentence here is, my father me a phone for my last birthday. What will be the missing verb here? Gave. How do you spell it? G. G. A. 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 B. B or V? Yes. B or V? V. V. And? E. Uh -huh. E. Gay. Very good. All right. Next. Volunteer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right. What? Wrote. Spell it out. W. Uh, w. R. R. O. O. T. E. E. Yes. Excellent. Next. Volunteer. Uh huh. What would be the missing verb there? Took. Spell it out, Catherine. T O O and K. O O K. K K was okay. Yes, good, good. Thank you. Next. We this lost cat at the park yesterday. Uh huh. What would be the missing word? The missing verb. Miss. Missed? Mm, it's five letters. Miss only have four. Missed. Or six in the past. Missed. But it will be six letters. And Missed. it's only five. Missed. That's six letters, Ulysses. And it, he did only five letters. Missed in the past is six letters. M I S S. -E. Six letters and the word here it's only five letters. So what's the verb? <clears throat> hmm. Found. Found. Spell it out, Jose Sanchez. F O huh? U N D. Yes, found. We found this last cat. Excellent. Very good. Next one. Hello, Norma. Welcome. Next. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's the verb here? What's the missing verb? Wrong. 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 And K. What's the letter K? Yeah. Yes. Good, good, good. We have five. We have five now. Next one. Bold. Read. Bold. Hmm. Mm. Spell it out. I guess it was Giancarla, right? Or Stephanie, who was it? Giancarla. Spell it. B. Mm hmm. O. U G G H T T Yes, bold. I bought a book at the bookstore last winter. Nice. Next. Three letters. Easy verb. Easy verb. Eight. 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 Spell it. A A T E. A T E yes nice next came came C. 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 A. A. 
M E. Okay, my dad came home last night. Night. Late last night. Good, good. Next. What's the missing word? Tell me, what's the missing word? Oops, all right, time's up. Well, we got, what does we must eight, nine, eight, eight. Very good, very good, very good. So these are just a little review of the irregular verbs. Like I said, today we are gonna focus on simple past just to practice more. Now give me a second, I will take the picture. Picture number one. Let me go back to the presentation. Oops, this is another one, sorry. <laughs> Here it is. All right, now we are going to have a reading part here. We're gonna complete this reading with the past tense of the verb in parentheses. I'll go reading and you tell me what's the correct verb in the past. Okay, it says, a long time ago, a lion asleep in the jungle. What's the verb here? Was. Was? Mm, no. Fallen. Fallen. Fallen is the past participle. Of. Oh. Okay. Fell asleep in the jungle, a mouse to play. Mm -hmm. Want to? Want? Want? Okay. So she up and down the lion. Walk up. Mm -hmm. Another option? Run. What? Run. 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 In the past? Run. 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 So she ran up and down the lion. The lion up and his huge coat on the mouse. Cup. Lion. Walk. Wake. Wake up. Walk. In the past? Walk, Walk. up and... Put. And put. All right. What's the past tense of put? Put. 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 And put his huge paw, paw, la gara, on the mouse. Breakfast. He. Throw. He thought. He thought. Pass of think. Okay. Breakfast. He thought. He. His mouth to eat the mouse. Open and open. 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 What's the past? Open. Open. How do you pronounce it? Open. 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 Right. Right. No. Open it. Open his mouth to eat the mouse. The mouse very afraid, and she to the lion. Was the mouse was the mouse was very afraid, and she. Oh, she told. Oh, she told. She told to the lion. No, apologize. she apologized. She apologized. What's the past tense? Is that regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. Uh huh. Apologized to the lion. She told. She told the lion that maybe she. He will help him someday. Second part. The lion. The idea that the mouse could help him in the future. Uh huh. Like. Like. The idea that the mouse could help him in the future. He. 
his paw and the mouse. Uh -huh. He what? His paw. Okay. He came. He came. Mm. Okay. Remember, paw is la garra. So? Come, go, let, lift, set, step, tie, or what? Huh? Mm. So he put the paw on the mouse, and then what he did? He? Let. What? Let. Let. Mm -mm -mm. Another possibility? Ulises está haciendo el movimiento. In the past? Left. Mm. Left is the past tense of leave. Leave is regular. Lifted. His paw and... The mouse go. Let. And let the mouse go. A few weeks later, two hunters, uh -uh, a trap and the lion accidentally mm -mm, into it. So two hunters what? Mm, but it's up talking about a trap. Set. What? Set. Set, all right. Set a trap and the lion accidentally. Tie. And what would be the no tie? It's different. Stepped. Stepped into it. The hunters back to the trap and came. came. The hunters come back. Came. Pass, 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 pass. Came, came back. Came back to the trap and came. and what? The lion to the tree with ropes. Tied. What's the past tense of tie? Tied. Is that regular or irregular? Regular. Tied the lion to the tree with ropes while they. Go. 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 When? 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 When to find the truck to carry the lion. Part three. After the hunters, the mouse by and mm -hmm. after the hunters. Leave. What? Leave. Yeah. In the past? Lived. Hmm. Hmm. Hace ratito la dijeron. Left. Left. Very good. After the hunters left them, uh, left the mouse. Walk. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Walked by in. And so. Said. Said. Or so. And so. And so. The lion. She. Had promised to help him. Remember. Remember. What's the past tense? Is that regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. Uh -huh. Remember. Remembered. Remembered her promise to help him. So she through the robes connecting the lion to the tree. Say. What? Say. Show. 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 And the past tense? Is it regular or irregular? Regular. Show through the ropes connecting the lion to the tree. You want the lion? 
was was would that be for art for is or for am is 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 right but the past tense was but was free yeah. again see Mm -hmm. Say. In the past, say. said, mm -hmm. said, right. You sure? Oh, sorry. I got coming a lie. See, I. Let's not say. I am. I am in the past. Was. I was right. Ahora sí, aquí va. Set the mouse. The lion. What? Reply in the past tense. Is that regular or irregular? Regular. How do you spell it here? Why or I? I, 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 I? The lion replied, thank you. After that, the lion and the mouse are uh, well, where, 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 where friends. Nice. Good job. Good job. Do you know this fable? Have you ever yes. read this fable, the lion and the mouse? No? You don't read fables? No. Okay. But the question is going to read. Volunteer to read part one. Two volunteers. Pronunciation, pronunciation. Okay, Norma. Norma and Alexandra. Go ahead, Norma. A long time ago, a lion fell asleep in the jungle. A mouse went to play, so she ran, ran up and down the lion. The lion woke woke up and put his whole paw on the mouse. Very fast, he thought. He opened his mouth, his mouth to eat the mouse. The mouse. The mouse. Sorry. Oops. No worry. Was. 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 Mm -hmm. Was very afraid and. She apologized. 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 Yeah. The lion. She told the lion that maybe she could help him someday. Nice. Norma, repeat this verb. Wanted. 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 And this wanted. one is run. Run, run. is the present. Run. Okay. Run. run. And run. this word, this word for everybody is huge. Say it. Huge. 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 Very good. Thank you. Uh, Alexandra, read it again, please. A long time ago, a lion fell asleep in the jungle. A mouse wanted to play, so she ran up and down to the lion. And run, run up and down the lion. The lion woke up and put his... See, his... Huge. Huge pot on the mouse. Breakfast, breakfast, he thought. He opened his mouth to eat the, the mouse. The mouse was very afraid and she apologized to the lion. She told the lion that maybe she could help. He, he, she could help. Ah, she could help him someday. She could help him someday. Very good, Alexandra. Very good, Alexandra and Norma. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Jose Humberto, you you volunteer, right? No. Oh, Ruth. Ruth, read the second part, please. The lion liked the idea that the mouse could help him in the future. He, he listened. Lifted? Lifted. He bow and and left the mouse go. A few weeks later, two hunters set a trap in the lion accidentally stepped into in, into it. The hunters came back to the trap and tied the lion 
to the tree with rope while they went to find a truck to carry to, carry? to find a truck to carry the lion in. Thank you, Ruth. Good job. Good job. Good pronunciation. One more volunteer to read the second part. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. All right, Natalie, Alegria, and Catherine, you're going to read part three. Go ahead, Natalie. The lion liked the idea that the mouse could help, help him in the future. He lifted his paw and let the mouse go. A few weeks later, two hunters set a trap and the lion accidentally stepped, stepped. into it. Stepped into it. The hunters came back to the trap and tied the lion to the tree with ropes while they, while they went to find a truck to carry the lion in. Thank you, Natalie. Very good. So, uh, Catherine, part three. After the hunter left them, after the hunter left, the mouse walked by and saw the lion. She remembered her promise to help him, so she should throw her through the ropes connecting the lion to the tree. Soon the lion was free again. See, I was right, said the mouse. The lion replied, that, thank you. After that, the lion and the mouse were friends. Nice, nice. Very good, Catherine. And the last person to read the, uh, the part three. <clears throat> the yeah, last I'm... person? Yes, yeah, Carla, go ahead. Okay, after the hunters left the mouse, what, what by, by and saw the lion, she remembered it. Her promise to help him, so she she should 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 uh -huh. should through the ropes connecting the lions to the street to to the tree. So the lion was free again. See, I was see, I was right. Said the mouse. The lion replies replied. Thank you. After that, the lion and the mouse were friends. Excellent. Good job. So, guys, who can tell me what's the moral? The moral, remember, this is a fable, so every fable has a moral. What's the translation in Spanish? How do you say moral in Spanish? Moraleja. Moraleja. Thank you, Natalie. So, what's the moral, guys? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you think? What do you think? What is the moral or the moraleja? We need, we need a fable for other person in 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 a a a, a, a one moment or okay. another moment and then at any moment, right? Any moment and then I I help the other person before okay so something like if you help someone you you get help in return okay thank you norma thank you any other opinions the uh, GM, oh. what is it the GM, i was near the midget repeat the gm i was near the midget <laughs> the giants always need the midgets yeah. <laughs> okay what is it Yes, Giancarla, what were you going to say? And uh, we always need uh, help with others and we had to know this or we had to uh, had in mind this, then we we always we are going to need any help for others. It's a matter and then we, we are strong or we are uh I don't know. Uh, Always we're going to need any help of the other people. For that reason, we are we we want to we had to help the others. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Ian Carla, for your opinion and you know my analysis. People, how do you say sin importar? O que importe? Without meaning. 
without meaning without meaning is like like no like no 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 <laughs> no meaning don't matter don't matter oh without matter without matter doesn't matter there's another word regardless regardless something like we always need something from people right regardless of the people o sea sin importar quien sea that sin importar is regardless regardless mm -hmm. write it down write it down thank you good job right let's move on may i change may i shall i mean shall i continue yes all right all right guys time to talk time to talk you are going to discuss this here we have different things about your past. <clears throat> um, let's see. Um, Catherine, can you read the questions? Yes. What is a person a personal habit habit you have you have shamed? Old. All of them, yeah. Okay. When did you finish school? What is something you like? Hello, hello a, a child. Who is someone you talked to recently? What what TV show or movie you want you watch recently? Mention something you decided last week. Mention something you need recently. You need recently. You need it. Recently. Mm -hmm. need recently. Sorry. Mention it something you want recently. Mention something you really want but you don't do anymore. Uh, name someone you call on the phone. Name something you learned as a child and you still remember. Name a place you live in the past. What sport did you play when you were a child? Mention where have you traveled. Where have you traveled? Wait, wait. Where do you have traveled? All right, so you are going to be discussing this with your classmates. Do you have any questions about the information? No? Okay, let me give you an example. Ask me the things and I will answer you so you have an idea. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What is a personal habit you have changed? A personal habit I have changed? Mm, probably I used to go out with my friends a lot in the past. And I used to play soccer with them, but I don't do it anymore. I did it every night in the past, every single night from Monday to Sunday. But now I don't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Another one? Teacher. Hi. Me mention something you believe once, but you don't do anymore. In women. <laughs> I used to believe in women and trust women, but I don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, you are mean. Some, some, not alone. <laughs> uh huh. Next. Another. What, what is something you like a lot as a child? Uh, spending time in my house and watch TV. I did it every day, all day long, since uh, I came back from school at 12 p noon, and then I spent the whole afternoon watching cartoons. Yes. Uh huh. Next. Mention where you have traveled. I have traveled uh, to two countries. I have traveled to Honduras and I have traveled to Guatemala. On vacation or for work? No, I just play. I just just on the weekends. Sometimes I had long weekends, and I went to Honduras twice the last year. And I used to go to Guatemala every weekend because I have family there. They live near the the how do you say frontier in English? Near the borders. Uh, they live in Asuncion Mita. I don't know if you know the place. Asuncion Mita in Guatemala. Well, no. it's about an hour away from the border. And I used to go there every weekend to visit my cousin. Oh. Mm -hmm. One more. One more. One more. Me teacher. Yes. What is, a what? what is a personal 
What is a personal habit you had changed? Oh, as I said, Emma, I used to go out with my friends a lot at night and played soccer. That was a personal habit I used to have, but I don't do it anymore. Now I don't have time and I don't have friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, life changes when you grow up. <laughs> All right, guys, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot and be ready. I will send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes for you to discuss this with your classmates try to cover all of them remember ask one and everybody answers the same no hay uno 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 so you all participate and you finished okay. right here all right accept the invitation Mention something you need presently. You need it. Uh -huh. Mention something you needed presently. Mention something you needed presently. Uh, well, in my case, I don't, well, I don't understand the question. I don't know if it's talking about something like I have to buy or I have to do something or whatever or, you need it. Whatever. Um, well, I need to pass my exam. <laughs> pass, 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 pass. Pass yes, me too. I needed to pass your exam. Okay. Next. Uh, something that I needed recently. It was and um, I needed a soda, so I went to Bowery to buy it. To buy it. In my game, I need to give all my homework from the university. You needed to do the homework? Yes. And did you do it? Hmm? Did you do it? No, yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, continue. Okay. Mm. In my case that in my case I need to change to drink soda because it's very very bad for the body. <laughs> the, yes. In my case I used to do exercise four times a week, but now I have three weeks um 
I but now three weeks ago I didn't you stopped doing exercise? No yes. teacher. I stopped. <laughs> I stopped to do exercise. Yeah. All right, continue. Another volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, well, a habit that I have changed is, well, I used to to eat junk food, but now I try to don't do it anymore. Nice. Someone. Yes. Uh, nay, someone you call it on the phone. Say the name of the person, or, or like I called my mother, for example, I called my best friend. Um, my mother and my sister. Okay. Next. Karina, you there? Yes. <laughs> okay. I have a, a question for you. What is something you like a lot as a child? I like um I like to dance and and play video games. Nice. <laughs> Gastos, ya te digo, bills, bills oh, yeah. or expenses, yeah. bills or expenses. Yes, thank you. And for the reason, I I think that uh, in during the time when I was a child. And who is some, someone you tell to recently? What? Who is who someone is you tell to? Yes, yes, sir. Recently, no sé qué es permitiendo. Recientemente. Recently, recently. Like, not long ago. Ajá, digamos, algo que, que de lo que hablaron recientemente. No, someone you talk to, a person you talk to, you speak to. I don't, I, I didn't understand the, the someone, question. Someone is a person. Ah, so, sí, digamos, de una persona que yo hablé recientemente. Yes. Um, I am I am talking about my my mother because my mother my mother always talk eh, need to eh, visit eh, El Salvador because my mother live in United States. But yesterday I am talking with my sister I talked to my sister in the past I talk, I talk with my sister mm -hmm. because to will buy a, a ticket for the next year my the ticket for the next year because my mom need to uh, pass or control the the control in the doctor in El Salvador oh an appointment Doctor appointment. Doctor appointment. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay
que no se te puta de puta. Sorry, teacher, the electricity went out. Oh, sorry, I wasn't muted. <laughs> Nydeline, can you tell me something or a habit you changed recently, a personal habit? What's wrong? Hello, can you hear me? Um, yep. Uh huh. Okay. No, deme la mi. I change. Uh, well, wake up late. You used to wake up late. Yes. Okay, and now you wake up early. Yep. What time? Seven. I. O'clock a.m. Okay. Yes, Ruth. Um, Ulises uh, lived in La Palma in Vancouver, Canada. And Giancarla watched the series Dark. Uh, Stephanie called her sister and her mom. Thank you, thank you for sharing, Ruth. Ulises, well, you really lived in Vancouver? I wasn't there. You wasn't or you were? No, I was. How long? 12 years ago. 12, why did you come back? I uh, have a trouble with my wife, with my wife. There? Yeah. Were you married with a Canadian woman? Yes, sir. Tell me the secret. <laughs> all right nice all right in boston massachusetts okay well good for you he traveled with, with her to canada so you met her in boston and you went to canada yeah okay and now you are in el salvador right now yeah. all right <laughs> okay now let's see um eh, Emma, tell me, when did you finish school? Sorry? When did you finish school? Ah, I finished the school in 2008. Really? Yeah. In high school? 2000, no, sorry. The school in 2006 and the oh. high school in 2008. And the university? I didn't go to the university. Are you planning on going to the university? Mm, right now, no. What <laughs> mean? I am. I am learning. I am learn a uh, prof uh, occupation. Or oh, what? Uh, uh, I am a stylist. Oh, okay. I need a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's see. Um, Santos. <clears throat> What is something you liked a lot as a child? Mm, I like to play with my sister. Um, sometimes I play with my neighborhood. Neighbors, neighbors. Uh, oh, okay, neighbor on the on the street. Uh, oh. For example, soccer, um, um, I don't remember, uh, I, I, I don't know, teacher, Mika Pelota. <laughs> Mika Balloon, Mika Ball. All right, that's a, that's uh, a Mika Salvadorian Mika game. Just... Mika Pelota, I used okay. to play Mika Fruta, Mika TV. 
Ok, thank Ajá, you, rica Santos. fruta tú. Ya. Yeah. Carla Liliana, tell me uh, who is someone you talked to recently. Ok, someone I talked recently with is, no, was my father. What did you talk about? Uh, I talked with him about his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> he has a girlfriend. All right. Uh, Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Okay. Stephanie Ramirez, tell me uh, what TV show or movie you watched recently. Barbie. Mm, I watched. Uh, mm, I don't remember name. Oh, uh, Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. One. One. Shrek one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Alexandra, can you tell me um, something you wanted recently and why? You're on mute. Well, I don't know. Uh, as I was saying the breakup rooms, I wanted to pass my exam because I have to pass. <laughs> What exam? Exam. What? What exam? Where? From the university. What subject? Uh, culture and identidad. Identity. I didn't see Salvador. No, Salvador. Salvador, culture and identity. Uh -huh. What's Salvador. your major? Sorry? What is your major or your career? Uh, international relationships. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, thank you, Alexandra. Hola, que usted sustituya a la Luciana, mi amiga. You speak better English than her. <laughs> Catherine, tell me, no, name someone you called on the phone recently. And what did you talk about? Well, uh, what's with my father? Because I had to get a, how do you say, uh, un encomiendo? Encomiendo, what, 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 what do you mean? Like a, like a mandado or what? A mandado. How do you say mandados in English, people? How do you say hacer mandados in English? No idea? Delivery. No, deliver is when you deliver something. <laughs> Do errands. What? Do errands. I need to do some errands. Like, tengo que hacer algunos mandados. Do errands. Do errands. Okay, so you talked to your father because you had to do some errands, Catherine. What did you have to do? Uh, a person called uh, in my house, at my house, uh, the, uh, how do you say, uh, linea fija? The landline? The landline. And the, the person one that I want to receive a, a, a electrode, a electro, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, say it, teacher. What? It's a, my, electrodomestico, electrodomestic. Uh -huh. Appliances. Okay. Appliance. Appliance. Are you trying to get a microwave or what? Uh, I don't know what is. It's, it is. Uh, uh, that came my, my father. Uh, uh, okay. Your father bought an appliance. 
And no. you talk to him about it? No. No. I I received the call in uh -huh. the line line and the person was that uh, my father tell him told him that I I I went a place to receive these appliances. Oh. For my father my father can replay. No, sorry, uh, reparar. Oh, your father repairs this thing. Yes. Ah, okay. I understand it. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Katrin. Thank, Thank you. you. Giancarla, tell me something you believed in the past or once, but you don't believe anymore. Giancarla? Ah. <clears throat> uh... Mm, I I used to believe <laughs> uh, when I was a child uh, in in Santa. Okay. Santa, Santa is real. <laughs> but but now I I don't. Why Santa is real? <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna but give you a I, gift I, this but, Christmas. But I, I, I had say my my kids the 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 Santa is real. It is, he <laughs> is real for real. <laughs> yes, it's real. Last, last I'm Christmas, Santa, I'm Santa now. <laughs> <laughs> last Christmas, he gave me a PS4. I paid oh, for it. Okay. He gave it to me. <laughs> ah, oh, okay. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, if we see and that. In that way, yes, it's real. <laughs> we are we are our, our own Santa Claus, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I know. And for our children. All right, thank you, Giancarla. Norma, can you tell me a place where you live in the past? San Salvador. <laughs> you lived in San Salvador? Yes. When? Uh, all, all, all my life. But where? I mean, have you moved? Have you changed okay. location? Or... Yes, in Colonial Paraíso. You lived before in Colonial Paraíso? Yes, yes when now? I was a child. Why is that? It is uh, por el Boulevard Venezuela. How do you say por el? Por Cerca? the Royal Venezuela. <laughs> Near or around, around the Venezuela yes. Boulevard? Yes, near. Oh, okay. And now where do you live? Near. <laughs> near. Oh, <okay. laughs> you just change house. Yes. <laughs> okay, Norma. Thank you. Nina, can you tell me a uh, sport you played when you were a child? Um, I play a sport when I was a child. Uh, it's softball. Softball. I was a, a captain for team. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Did you win any championships? Yes, uh, two or three bases. Uh, but you uh, did you play when you went when you were at school or or like a neighbor team or how? Oh, in a school in bachillerato. How do you say bachillerato in English? No, I don't know. High school. High school. High school. Oh, High school. So, um, oh, okay. I like it. So, nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Dina. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, let's move on. Here I have some topics to talk about. Yesterday's class, bird, last birthday, last time you went to the beach, the first experience learning English. The last time you bought something, the last time you went hiking, your favorite TV show when you were a child. We are going to go one by one and we are going to write some questions about this topic. What is the auxiliary you use to make questions? Yes or no questions? Did. Did. And if you wanna know if you wanna make open questions, what are the words to use? What time? How 
The time? How? Time. When? When? Place? Where? Where? When? People? Who? 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 All right. So, dictate to me some questions about yesterday's class. Uh -huh. What Good did you questions. do? What? What did Good. you do? What did you do? Yesterday, I want trouble seems so far away. Uh huh. Another one? <clears throat> or in yesterday's class? What, uh, what topic did you teach? What? What topic did you teach yesterday? Oh, but it's not to me, it's to you. Yeah, Okay. Because if the question is what topic did you teach, that would be for me, right? The teacher. I thought, oh, wow. so, but for you? What did you learn? All right. What did you learn yesterday? What did you learn? Another one? What, what, what did, did you start in class yesterday? Repeat, Norma. What did you start? What did you study? No, start. Comenzar. Like, at your age? What did you start? Are you trying to ask, at que horas comenzaste? What, what time? What time? What All right. Time? What time? Did you start? The class, all right. Next, another one. What did you learn in just, class? Yes. Just that. We have it here. What oh, did you sorry. learn? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on, tell me more questions. Did you study after the class? All right. Next. Who were with you in the breakout room yesterday? Who was? Who was? Who was with you in the breakout rooms? Uh huh. Next. One, two, three, four, five. Five more. Five more. Let's try down ten. Come on, use your imagination. Remember, tomorrow you're having your final ev evaluations. Imagine the questions you will be asking if I give you this topic. Where is Friday. your school? Where is your school? Okay. Ooh. But uh, that's a good question, Norma. Perfect. Where is your school? But I want you to focus on past questions. Mm -hmm. Teacher, did you uh, spoke uh, in the room? I spoke English in the room. Did you spoke or did you speak? Spoke with it yesterday. Mm, remember, spoke is the past and did is the auxiliary for past. So the verb stays oh, in the present. Yes. Did you speak? speak? Did you speak in in the bedroom? Uh huh. Another one. Did you understand the topic? Oh, that's a that's a good one. Uh huh. Another one. Hmm. Did you understand the topic? Uh huh. Three more. Three more. Three more. Three more. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. No more? Did you learn new words? Okay, thank you, Adrian. Did you learn new words or vocabulary, right? All right, let's go to the second topic. 
The last time you went to the beach. Questions for this topic? Uh huh. When did you go to the beach last? Where or when? Last... Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, where if you say you where did you go to the beach, it will be like where the beach, right? How do you say in English? A qual playa? Which? You can say which beach did you go to? <laughs> Let's get the music. <laughs> which beach did you go to? Another one? Who did you go with? All right. Who did you go with? Uh -huh, next. Did you enjoy? Okay. Did you enjoy? How do you say your viaje? Did you enjoy? Your yes. trip or your trip? Mm -hmm. Did you swim in the sea? All right, very good. Thank you, Dina. Did you swim? Swim. Did you swim in the sea? Uh huh. What did you eat? Okay, Carla, very good. What did you eat? Don't tell Campero chicken, please. Mm -hmm. What did you drink? <laughs> what did you drink? Campero and frijoles. What did you? How drink? many days did you go? How many days? Days. Mm -hmm. How? Let's change it a little bit. How would you say in English? ¿Cuánto tiempo te quedaste? How many How much time? How much time? How many time? How do you say cuánto tiempo? How many? Mm -hmm. How much time? Mm -hmm. that is another How long? How long? How long? How long? Did you days? Uh huh. Another one. Tell me more. Tell me more. What did you wear? <laughs> okay. What did you wear? A two pieces bikini, right? Did and one more? Travel, did you, did you travel, travel by bus? Did you travel by bus? Or, by bus or car, let's say. Okay. All right. Yes? Would you, you go to the beach with? Yes, we have that one here, the number two. Who did you go with? Or who did you go to the beach with? Thank you, Stephanie. Next topic. Your first experience learning English. What questions can you ask in here? Who was your first teacher? Who was, all right. Who was your first teacher? Very good. Uh-huh. Next. What did you learn about English? Okay. What did you learn about English? Next. What did you expect about English? What did you expect? About English? Another one? Well, let's see. What did you expect from your English class? Que el teacher fuera guapo. <laughs> Next. Did you, did you nervous when you spoke? In that case, it's a zero star question. What would be the auxiliary? Did or was aware? Yeah. Where, right? Uh, where. Were you nervous 
when you spoke in English. Uh -huh. Another how one? Many, how many classmates did you have? Good. How many oops, did you have? Another one? Did, did you participate in class? Did you participate in the class? Very good. Thank you. How Next. do you feel? Uh, no, 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 no. How did you feel in your, in your, your first class? Nice. Very good, Santos. How did, did you, you feel in your first class? Nervous. Did you meet new people? Did you meet new people? No, because I'm the most antisocial person in the world. Another one? When was your first English class? Okay. When was your first English class? Very good, very good. Um, Why oh. did continues for English class. Why did you or why didn't you? Porque sí o porque no. Porque sí, porque why did decide? Oh, why did you decide to study English? We... Yeah, right, right. Because I like English music. All right, next topic. The last time you went uh, hiking? Never. <laughs> never, never. Remember, you have to use your imagination. In my dreams. <laughs> no. All right. So, what questions would you ask about the last time you went hiking? Mm -hmm. Where did you go? All right. The first one, right? The most natural. Where did you go? To my backyard. <laughs> when did you go? Excuse me, Nadeline. When did you go? When did you go? Oops. Uh -huh. Next. Oh, person with. Eh? Uh, Dina? Person? Who person teacher? Uh -huh. Who do you say? Who? Who? Uh -huh. Who? Uh -huh. What? When? Auxiliary? Uh -huh. Did. 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 Uh -huh. Did you when? Did you go? Did. <laughs> did you go with? Yes. Next. Did you see animals? All right. Did you see animals? Yeah, I saw some hens and I ate them. Yeah, did you enjoy? Did you enjoy what, Nadeline? Hiking. Or the trip? Or the trip, yeah. Uh huh. No, that's very well, tiring. Well, well, what was your experience? No, I don't know. How? How will we? How, uh, how? How? How was your experience? A lot of mosquitoes. Did you drink water? Oh, nice, 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 nice. Did you drink water? Yes, like three liters. Yes, Santos? Or anybody? What did you eat? Okay. What did you eat? All the animals we found. Uh huh. Two more. Did you go to the top of the mountain? Did you climb? Yes. Mount, mount, mountain. Yes. And the last one.
Uh huh. One more. One more. Did you feel thirsty? Cansado? Thirsty? Tired. Tired. Did you feel tired? Yes. Lot. Next one. Your favorite TV show when you were a child. Uh huh. What was your favorite <laughs> show? All right. Next. I did watch. What? I did watch. I did watch. What do you mean? What are you trying to say? I did watch a uh, Thundercats. Oh, you are answering. Yeah, that was a nice year too. Another question? What? Nina? Who was your favorite person? No sé, personal. Character. Huh? Character. Oh. Personaje is character. Character. Okay. Who was your favorite character? Did uh -huh. you watch Candy Candy? <laughs> <laughs> No, muchos novios tenía. <laughs> yeah, she had a lot of boyfriends, right? Uh, even two at the same time. Next. Um, how long did, did you watch? Nice, nice. How long did you watch? TV. Okay, next. Where did you watch TV? Where did you watch TV? In my friend's house because we didn't have. Ajá. La niña de ahora no saben qué es eso. What time did you watch TV? All right. What time did you watch TV? Uh huh. Number seven. And did you watch TV alone? Okay. Or your friends? All right. Very good. Good. Ruth. Number eight. Mm hmm. Why did you watch TV shows? Why did you watch singular or plural? S or S? Mm. Did you watch watch singular? All right. Ah, no. That, plural. that is TV shows. Why did you Why watch did you it? Did you, Why did you watch? I'm sorry. Well, who who did you watch TV with? Uh we have that one, I guess. No. no. All right. Who did you watch TV, TV with? Then I'm gonna similar but not the same. Mm -hmm. And one more, the last one. Did you eat when? You watch TV? Okay. Did you eat when you watch TV? And what did you eat? Right? Popcorn. All right. And the last topic. Your fr oh, no. This is repeated. Let's change this to this one. Okay. Ya estamos llegando. Uh huh. Question about your last Christmas. Nunca la celebro, but anyway. What did you eat? What did what? you eat? Most important, eat? right? <laughs> what did you eat? Where did you go? Where did you are? And Where what? did you go? Uh huh. Another one? What did you wear? 
Oh, Santos. What did you wear? Oh, okay. Same clothes as 10 years ago. Yeah. El estreno de hace 10 años. <laughs> did, you, yeah. did you dance? Did you dance, All right? Did you dance? Uh huh. What else? Did you eat grapes? Grapes. Did you eat grapes? Las doce uvas del destino. Did you burn crack crackers? I don't know. Como me dijo la... Five crackers. <laughs> Did you burn fire crackers? Uh -huh. Another one? Uh -huh. Did you receive a gift? No. Did no. you get? Okay, get. Or receive? Did you get any gifts or presents? No, nope. I don't have friends, girlfriend, nothing. Did you drink? Yes, to forget about my problems. <laughs> did you drink what? Did you drink what? Did you drink did what? A little bit more specific? <laughs> what? All night. Did you, for what? did you drink wine? Wine. Wine. Okay. Did you drink wine? Uh huh. Next. Uh, did you watch um, fi fire? No, no sé cómo. Fuegos artificiales. Fireworks. Fireworks. Did you watch fireworks? Okay, la noche de luce campero. Did you receive bonus in your worst company? Bonus. Bonus. Oh, bonus. Aguinaldo. <laughs> <laughs> Aguinaldo. <laughs> Did you get a bonus? Christmas bonus. Do you work? <laughs> Sadly. Okay, se me pongo doble. But you fall asleep. The last did you work? All right, guys, very good. So I I I had this I had this activity because, like I said, you are going to have your final evaluations, uh, the speaking one on Friday, right? Recuerden que su última evaluación de speaking va a ser el viernes <clears throat> y tiene que ser un diálogo, verdad? No una mini presentación. Por ejemplo, cuando fue tu, tu último cumpleaños y le comienza y le dice, What did you do on your last birthday? Y, uh, y se fue. Tres minutos explicando. No. Question and answer. Question and answer. So, para que vean que sí saben cómo hacer las preguntas. Por eso es que les puse esta actividad. Así que así, preguntas así como estas, se van a estar haciendo. Uh, did, uh, did you drink wine in your last Christmas dinner? No, I didn't drink wine. I drank uh, soda and some beers. And you? Right. What did you eat? I ate uh, bread with chicken, turkey, and uh, salad. And you? Right. No mini presentations. Conversation. And also, remember, tomorrow you have the final written evaluation. Tomorrow, Thursday, right? Okay. Thanks. Do you have any questions? About the evaluations? No. Friday. We finish. Ah. Usted va a decir los temas. Van a estar así otra vez. Ah, oh, teacher. Yeah. I don't like. Oh, no. Pero se acaban de ver que sí saben cómo y me han hecho como 7 millones de preguntas aquí. Sí, sí, sí. Don't be afraid. Sí, Normal. Sí, sí. Porque no nos deja ver ahora en qué punto vamos a trabajar. No. Para... Me muestro no lo sí, sí. Sí, sí. Teacher, pero, pero va a ser acerca solo, solo del pasado. ¿Cómo? I guess yes, I'm gonna focus on past because that's like the most complicated one. 
teacher. Practice okay. the verb. Practice the verb. Voy a poner teacher, pero muestran unos nuestro. cuadritos. Así. No. Sí, no. no? Es que me siento no. más nerviosa cuando no sé las cosas, teacher. Ah, uh, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be okay. Van a ser fáciles, no se no preocupen. Solo estudien los verbos. Todavía tiene mañana. Todavía estudia los verbos. Mañana. Ok. De mañana. <risa> ok, teacher. Teacher, de mañana es el párrafo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál párrafo? Eh, no, nada, teacher, nada, nada. Para ayer fue. Párrafo. De la childhood, memory. Mm. Ese era para el más pasado. No, el lunes fue. Mm -hmm. Yes. But send it over, send it over. Si no la ha mandado aún, send it through. Todavía estoy chequeando como 50 mil mensajes que tengo ahí. Mm. Recuerde, si, le, si no le escribo, no se asuste, contente, se alegre. Si le escribo, el problema. Ok. So, estamos bien, no se, entonces. No, no entonces se estrese, estamos no, bien, teacher. No se estrese no que se asuste. El jefe no me dice nada ni me escribe. Así porque me, le escribo para decirle todo a lo que se equivocó, al que se equivocó. Y si no, pues, nada, está bueno. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. right. Any other question? No. Okay, let me take the picture, second picture. <laughs> Just watching cartoons. My song. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for today's class. I hope you learn or 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 improve something. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, these are our final days. So study hard and don't be afraid. You're gonna be okay. Okay, trust yourself. Bye, teacher. Bye, mother. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See have a good day. Tomorrow.